past um, two weeks we've been working on redesigning an area in the back bay and we hope that you enjoy our design. Okay, so our inspiration um, came from the back bay area, uh, which was basically these bay windows, which we'll talk about later, and then the Deerfield Academy, for, and we loved how it framed the space. Um, and Chance Elizé, Ele I believe is how you pronounce this, the photo from up here, but um, and yeah, right there as well. So we loved how the trees framed it and kind of separated the pedestrians from the street so the pedestrians felt safe. And we loved how that the road winded right up to the so right up to, you can't really see, but that's the opera house up there. So like if you were there, if you're looking directly at your book. Okay, so spacing the building. So we wanted our space, this is a space right here, by the way, too. Um, so we wanted our space to feel enclosed, secure, but we wanted you to flow right through it. So you can kind of see how we have four L-shaped buildings. Um, we have these four L-shaped buildings at the end, the two rectangles parallel from each other, and then these, build, these big, like, 3D L upwards buildings. So we wanted it to be as though the front entrances allowed you to look at our two local point, which we'll talk about a little later. But then you go right through the space and it creates interest and more life as people go through. And these are the bay windows that we Okay, so we have some more pictures. We use different heights and shapes to create variation and interest in our city. So as you can see, we kind of use like the um, cut tool we cut this part and raise them up, and these will all be used as balconies and multifunctional buildings. Okay, so focal points. Our two focal points are our statue and our fountain. So from our two main entrances, um, you can see the fountain and the um, statue. Okay, so here's a better up close one. You can kind of see, um, we'll talk, Tyler will talk about this area that he designed later, but you can see that there's a landscape here. Even though the towers are still a little bit in front of the um, fountain, you can still see the main top of the fountain through the two towers. And then if you look straight, you can see the um, statue. And we created those two L shapes in the middle to frame each of the focal points, so you can see them clearly. And then here's another photo. One more photo, just to show another one. We took a lot of photos. Okay, the communal spaces. We wanted there to be two different communal spaces in our area. We designed two different area communal spaces directly to two different audiences. So this um, space is targeted more to families, but mostly to adults. So these areas will have shops all in restaurants aligned, and you can see the food truck in here. But we wanted the space to be a little, a little bit of greenery so there's still life, but as well as pathways for food trucks, um, farmers markets, and other places where people can mingle. Um, and like I um, said before, these buildings are all multi-purpose. So the stores would be on the bottom and then the homes and apartments would be on top. So then here's a, 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 a higher up view of this. And you can kind of see how we play around with the shapes in this area. We use this large rectangle to frame the actual um, space, but then we use play around with like a diamond and then use some circles and some triangles just to create some variation. Okay, so this is the one I made. Um, you have your fountain in the middle, and this one's basically more for kids. Um, well, you have the playground, and then you have two mini golf balls, which is basically you can play them as much as you want. And then Oh, you have this circle um, outlining the um, fountain, so you can just see it better from a uh, top view. And yeah, and the circle is also similar to the other one. Um, Another view. And I like to just give Tyler credit. He created the pot pot course all by himself without using a template or anything. Another view. Okay, so the format and shape of the building. So the first thing I want to mention is that our buildings range from 36 feet to 46 feet. This is no more than uh, four, uh, four stories at the most. These larger buildings in the middle are probably about five stories. But one of the important things in the video that we learned is that 
if you go over five stories, then your city feels like too enclosed and you can't really see anything and then people can start to feel claustrophobic. So we really wanted to make sure we had a good height to width ratio. And all these buildings are the same size. You can kind of see how we have uh, this building, that building is the same height, and those buildings are as well. So you still have buildings that are all the same height, but yet we have a couple different kinds. <coughs> Then we have another one. And then this is our corner building. These, we wanted the corners to frame the, I mean, the corner buildings to frame the corners to help the close the space. And want to talk about the alleys? Oh, uh, yeah. So we um, added the alleys um, to give it a little bit more mystery. So it's like if you want to be alone by yourself or something, like just talk with somebody, you can do that. Um, yeah. And these are some more alleyways. You can kind of see in these pictures, um, they're all the same, uh, about the same photograph, but in different styles. You can see how we added um, some of these like entrances that connect to the taller buildings. We wanted that to make the buildings feel more compact and to add a little bit more mystery. And if you have your buildings compact, you get the most space out of them. Okay, so the tour of our city basically tour Because they're kind of, because these buildings are kind of geometrically kind of crazy. 